Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're actually gonna be installing some new parts on this car. It's not really like a part. It's kind of like a, a rice mod. Well, here it is. We got it from One Up Lighting, Underglow. We're gonna do the install on this car and see how it goes. Right now, all I have is the demon eyes. So I have that as an RGB. The emblem is not RGB yet, but I eventually want to go all RGB. Let's go ahead and rack up this car and get it on jack stands. Oh, we got the car jacked up. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit more unboxing, lay everything out how it needs to be. So in your one-up lighting kit, which I got, you're gonna be getting something like this. It's all like uh, twisted together and tied to, tied down together. So what you wanna do is just go ahead and cut them. The zip ties are, are zip tied on there. And then lay everything out how you're gonna do it. So from the back, side, front, side and then back to the back. It's all gonna be connected all together. You just have to run it how, depending on how your car is. All right guys, next thing you wanna do is figure out where your battery post is at. So in this case, this is on the right hand of the side of the vehicle. Um, we at least know that this is gonna be connecting to the battery. So this is gonna go to the front. I'll show you how I'm gonna wire it all up and how I'm gonna tuck it really nice. We're laying everything out how it's gonna go and you can start whatever direction you want, honestly. Um, as long as the wires, those two, those wires that connect each other are able to uh, reach. So as long as it's like that, you're fine. All right guys, so what I went ahead and did is I disconnected it from those two connectors on the bottom of this module. And on the very top, I stripped it to where I can have enough room to put my body, my positive and my negative. One more thing about wiring these things up. I grabbed a pack of buck connectors that I can use. So that way, whenever you're wiring this part up, if you can find this, so you can mount up to the, anywhere in a car, either body ground or onto the battery. Got those buck connectors on there, just like that. And then on the end of it, it's obviously gonna go is the wire but there's multiple ways of doing this this is how i'm doing it now that i have my two that are crimped together now i can go ahead and put it on this so let's go ahead and do that now that i have those two together let's go ahead and put it on the car and start wiring everything up cool just like that we have it in at least on the battery positive terminal side we put that one in there uh, between the, the nut and then this one we're gonna leave out for a little bit until we're ready to plug in. I kind of fished it through this little hole that's around here that goes to this wiring harness and then this kind of sits right here. Tuck the wires really nice. Let's go ahead and start wiring everything and connecting everything and yeah, let's do it. Realize right now there's one of these strips that you actually did not need because they give you like two for the front and like you don't really need that much especially on this kind of car they give you an extra strip for whatever reason um, i only have to use one and then the rest i've already fished it so i'm gonna show you how i did it so i have the module and i have the wire going to this right side of the vehicle this one's going to the left and there's little holes in the bottom of the undershield where it all goes to. So this is one of them. It goes down, fishing it through the wheel well. And I'm gonna go back and zip tie everything really nicely so it doesn't hit anything. When you're looking at the LEDs, you can tell that there's an arrow pointing to what direction the lights are gonna flow. Where the arrows go this way on this side, the arrows go to the back, just like this on the sides and then it follows the whole pattern from the front to the side and then the back. But the other right side does not match up very well. We can just 
install it how it is and see how it goes. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it'll it'll sink itself, but I don't know. It comes with a packet of these little grommets you can put onto the LED strips and, and screws for it. I'm not gonna use that. I'm actually gonna drill little holes on the cover underneath the car. There's this little plastic stuff that I'm gonna actually drill into. You'll see here in a minute what I'm talking about. All right guys, so this is what I mean. Had it zip tied just like that. I made little holes on the actual on the under shroud. That's what I did right there. Follow along with that. This leads to nothing, so I kind of zip tied it back there. And I'm going all the way around. So yeah, that's basically it guys. It's, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Once I take the 3M, the backing of the 3M, will stick on there a lot better, so yeah. Let me get onto the back side. I have one more side to do and we're good to go. <clears throat> all right, finally all done. Let me show you how I did the back. Back is all hidden right there. This one's actually 3M tape, so I'm really just crossing fingers. This does not come off, but out of all, I cleaned it all up with soapy water and I went back with it with alcohol, made sure the surface is super clean. And then I sticked it on there, so it's sticking on really nice right now. So that's the back part. This is how I did the front. Put on the little undershroud just like that. All right, guys, the car's finally finished up. Let me show you guys the finished product. So there it is, guys. Finally all done. Got it from the side, the back. Turn off the lights on all the garages to see. I honestly not too fond of it, to be honest. Like the fact that I haven't positioned it the right way, but I think once I adjust it, it'll look a lot better. I appreciate you guys watching. If you want to do this kind of things, don't overthink it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.